Hey, what is going on, fools of YouTube? You got AJ Pay and bring you another OU match. Um, I'm not gonna put this guy's name in the title because I'm kind of actually gonna bash him in this. I do apologize, but I couldn't really think of any other way to kind of uh, make this video a bit entertaining. Like, I'm not gonna bash him in a bad way. I'm just gonna bash like two of his characters, but that's about it. I mean, my opponent's not trash. He's not bad. He was just new, so. Um, please forgive me for this narration. I tried my best not to bash him as much, but I was just kind of angry with this match because I brought this team here. I kind of wanted to bring a, a kind of not OU ish team, even though I did technically bring two OU pokes with Infernape and Star Raptor is kind of OU, so why not Star Raptor? But everything else is just kind of thrown in because I kind of just wanted to use them. They kind of fit with the team. The team in general doesn't really have good synergy, but it works sometimes, and uh, it doesn't really work at this match, however. Uh, but this match. I guess it's going to be kind of entertaining because I edited it a lot and I also do different commentary, a different commentating style on it. So we're just going to start the battle now. I decided to leave my lantern um, since it hits a lot of his pokes hard and I can live anyone hits from them as well. As he leaves out with Dust Snore. Now Dust Snores are usually defensive and are going to carry will -O so I'm thinking he wants to get residual damage off me since lanterns are usually defensive as well. So I go for a roll switch. It doesn't do a lot so I pretty much know he's defensive. So I go to my inferno to be immune to his will -O and he goes for Confuse Ray. So he's one of those players who relies on luck and uses Confuse Ray to basically either set up or to stall me. Are you serious right now? I thought those were the only people on Showdown, not on Wi-Fi, but apparently I'm meeting one on Wi-Fi right here as he hits that Confuse Ray. And now my Infernip is pretty much confused. And at this point, I'm kind of mad. I'm pretty mad at this point that I'm seeing one of these players on uh, Wi-Fi. So I break through Confusion luckily because this Infernip is apparently amazing. I am more of a special Infernip set with Nasty Plot, Focus Blast, Fire Blast, and Vacuum Wave. And judging from what you just heard, you can tell that this Infernape likes to miss a lot, but this Infernape is a beast in this game. Thinking of nasty things, going for the nasty plot, deciding to throw poop in this Dust North's face in a second here as he breaks through confusion again, goes for the nasty plot, fire blast, uh, all that, you know, and I proceed to knock it out with that fire blast. I do get a crit. He just threw a ton of shit in that Dust North's face, and that Dust North did not like it and just died basically from the smelly stench of shit. Uh, Gyarados comes in, it resists both of my stabs, so I'm gonna have to switch out, and I decide just to switch out to my Slowbro, because it could take any one hit, but this switch was actually pretty bad, because he could've went for a sub and decided to just set up in my face and, like, Dragon Dance. But, however, he goes for the Aqua Tail, um, I guess he went for power over accuracy for some reason, but sure, that works. I'm not gonna judge him or, like, make fun of him because of that, because that's not ba too bad. But I thought he would double switch. I thought he would switch here. That's why I switched to my lantern. But he goes for T-Wave. I get the uh, boost. So he does rely on luck indeed because he goes for a Thunder Wave on my Slowbro just to get Parahacks. And I do take this Earthquake because I am more, I am max HP. But I am max special defensive. So I, I didn't take it too well. I go for a full switch over a T-Bolt as well because I knew a T-Bolt wanted to take it out from this range since I'm not specially oriented. I don't have any special attack investment is what I'm trying to say. And then I can just go on like a Balion outspeed and knock it out with another Roll switch. So down goes the Gyarados. This Cobalion is actually really good in OU. Um, you'll see it do a lot of work later in a different game that I have. But I decided to switch it to my Star Raptor now. It's Choice Scarf. It can scout out whatever poke comes in because it outspeeds all of his pokes. Luckily, the Starmie isn't Choice Scarf, so I can just go a few turns, scout out what set it is. It's a defensive set, judging from the damage. So I decided to switch my Lantern because that thing can't really hit me with an Ice Beam, a Water Move, or an Electric Move at all. And he goes for Confuse Ray? Are you serious right now? He has two Pokemon who use Confuse Ray. So basically, he relies on luck to win a game. And basically now, I'm stuck in here. I can't really hit this thing too hard since it's defensive as well. And here comes the Starmie shenanigans. Alright, so basically you saw the shenanigans. I can't really hit this thing hard. I don't want to switch Star Raptor. It would be my best bet to take this thing out. But I don't want to switch it in because he's all my only Volcarona check. Because if I don't have Star Raptor, then Volcarona's going to knock me out. As I do break Confusion, luckily enough, I do get a T-Bolt off, but it doesn't do a lot. But as you're going to see right here, he outspeeds me. And also, he's going to do the biggest douchiest thing I've ever seen. 
He goes for cover and is waiting for me to hit myself. You have a Hydreigon. You have a Volcarona to take my hits. Why don't you just switch into those, take those hits, and knock me out? Not use this luck-based crap, waiting for me to hit myself like I did just there, recover up to full health, and then just knock me out with a cheap shot. I don't understand why people like winning with luck. Like, I don't know how that satisfies them. And once again, the shenanigans begin. So now that I know that he's not a skilled player and I kind of see the pattern of what he's going for, I know for a fact he wants to attack my Star Raptor. So I know here, I can go for a Volt Switch because he knows that um, I can only hit him with the Volt Switch with his Gabon. He's either going to go for the Recover or Confuse Ray. So basically, this is a free turn for me to switch in to my Star Raptor to get some damage off of this thing as he does go for a Recover as opposed to Confuse Ray. I was really hoping Confuse Ray because I'd test my luck right there to take it out. Um, but now he's at such a good amount of health, I know for a fact he's going to want to attack me with a Scald, an Ice Beam, or a T-Bolt. So I'm just going to go for U-Turn, and judging from this damage and after Lefty's recovery, I know for a fact a Great Bird should be able to take that Starmie out as long as um, if he knocks out my Kabolion right here. And luckily he does go for a Scald, and as you saw from the last Scald damage, it did a lot. It's going to knock out my Kabolion, which is kind of fine, but as you see later, I regret kind of letting this Kabolion die. But he's at such a low amount of health to the point where my Star Raptor can finally take this thing out with a Brave Bird. So that's what exactly I'm going to do. Gonna go for the Brave Bird, and I am finally going to knock out this Star Me or not. Are you serious right now? No! 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 He recovered his health back. He's basically at the same amount much of health he was just at. This is before I brave birded him, and this is after I brave birded him. He's basically at the same amount of health, but that actually does also show that I could potentially still knock him out as long as mid max variance is nice to me. So I decided to go for another brave bird, and this time I'm hoping I'm going to be able to take him out. He lives again, but with the tiniest bit of health. That's like. 1 HP, are you serious right now? And then he basically doesn't want to kill me off. He just goes for a recover instead. And I'm just like, are you freaking serious? He's basically back at the same amount of health he's just at. Maybe a bit lower. So I'm thinking, Braver this time should take him out. Come on, Min Max Variance, please help me. Where's the justice in this world? He was at no, negative one. This is before I Brave Birded him last time. And this is what I Brave Birded him now. He basically has one health, like HP now, basically. And he's just gonna knock me out with another Scald. And I basically lost my Vocal Rono counter. So basically, at this point, I have lost this game. There's no possible way for me to win this because Vocal Rono can easily just set up on in my face right after I take this Starmie out with a U turn. And basically, at this point, I was just kind of mad. I did make some mistakes. I made plenty of mistakes, but basically this confusing crap still pissed me off because that's not a legit strategy to me whatsoever. So I just gave up. I just went to Matthew, but he decided to stall the game a bit more and goes into Weavile. I'm like, okay, I have a plan now to win. All I need to do, because I know I can live this Night Slash, is just burn him with the Scald. Because then I can just let him kill me, and then I can go in the front and set up some nasty plots. Because even though I'm like weak and all, I should be able to take him since he's burned. I don't get the burn on this first skull, so Matthew kind of just fails me there. And then, uh, apparently, I, he, I survived this. Matthew survives this. And I just go for the second skull. I don't burn him with the second skull. So Matthew is apparently pissed at me for kicking a goal at him at a penalty kick when I'm not the soccer player and he is. And he can proceed to knock me out with a night slash. And at this point, I think I lost because my inferno is poison is life orb, so it's not going to last too long. So I switched my inferno in, and basically this is where shit hits the fan. So, my Fernip comes in, throws a piece of shit as fast as he can in this Weavile's face with the vacuum wave, knocks the Weavile out straight up. But Life Orb and Toxic is slowly wearing down this Infernape of mine. She's getting slow, so worn down, but she knows she can outspeed this Hydreigon. So she takes a big pile of shit, throws this in the Hydreigon's face, all three of its faces. It's super effective, and it's actually able to knock out this Hydreigon, but like I said, Toxic and Life Orb slowly taking down 
this poor Infernip in mind. But now Volcarona will just come in and basically just either kill me or just set up in my face with Curve of Dance. But this Inferno is not going to take this shit. He's going to throw the biggest shit of all of a Fire Blast into this Volcarona's face. And this Volcarona actually dies because he gets a crit and there's actually justice in this world. And it's going to be a 2-0 victory on my part because of this Infernape as we're going to go to the key play of the battle. And the key play is without a doubt taking out that Starmie and also gaining the crit on the Volcarona. As we're also going to go to the mistakes of the battle. One of the big mistakes was definitely letting my Lantern die a bit too early, especially against the Starmie. Because basically, I think Lantern was the greatest, the biggest threat against that Starmie. And also letting my Cavalion die, because my Cavalion had one special move, which was Stealth Rocks, and that would have helped me um, against the Volcarona. But I guess I didn't need it, because I got the crit. Um, regardless, I still thought it was a good game. It actually kind of made me create this video to make it very kind of creative, maybe edit it a lot. And I also learned how to edit a bit more with uh, this program I use. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this battle, even though it wasn't a great battle. I just hope... Uh, my commentary and my editing proved it to make it good, I guess. Um, don't expect to see like a lot of edits in like all my battles. It's just whatever I don't get as good of a battle, I'm going to do it. Um, but that about does it for me, guys. So like if you like, comment if you like, and subscribe if you like. And I'll see you fools later.